YouTube, your girl Marcita Faith is back with a new video as promised. Now, I don't know about you, but buying new crochet hair right now is not quite on the top of my priority list. So, I've been reaching into my stash, but today, I reached way down in my stash and pulled out this outre or outre if you prefer. Uh, Batik hair I know has been out a long time, at least six years ago. I remember uh, seeing this hair when I first started doing crochet braids. So you know how you walk into your local beauty supply store in the front, they be having them big boxes full of hair and the sign says three packs for $5.99 but it'd be some off-brand crochet braid you ain't never heard of then you keep walking back and they have some nicer crochet braid hair on sale like this that was the bomb back in the day but now they have it reduced down from $9.99 to $1.99. <laughs> and you'll be thinking to yourself, $1.99? I do not need that hair. But at $1.99, I just can't pass it up. So you'll be thinking, damn, is it still any good? Is it going to be hard and the fiber all uh, brittle? Will it break easily when I install it? And then you say to yourself, at $1.99, I get four packs, $8 for a complete style. If it lasts a week, I will have got my money's worth. I'm about to put this old crochet braid hair to the test. We all know synthetic crochet braiding hair is made of really fine vinyl fiber. It's basically plastic, but kept in its original packaging, stored in a cool, dry environment away from sunlight, it should last. I made this DIY crochet unit that I'm wearing over three years ago and it still looks good. Hair is nice and soft just like the day I made it. Should be the same with this hair. I've taken it out of plastic and it is just as soft as it was probably when it was made. Has retained its original curl pattern this hair is actually 100% connect Lawn fiber premium multi-blend and I remember this style being really popular back in the day. I'm about to get started with my install on YouTube so let's see how the hair holds up. Please stay tuned. I'm starting with a crochet wig cap over my natural hair for a stay crochet. Removing the hair from the package and it comes in four small bundles. It separates easily and I'm using very small pieces to crochet the hair. I've looped the hair twice and then taken small strands from either side to tie off three or four times and in the front I'm just crocheting the hair over and around the band of the crochet wig cap. Back with 
it in my completed installation of this old crochet hair YouTube. And I didn't have any issues at all installing the hair. It didn't uh, break or anything when I was tying it off. Some of the strands did seem to be a little limp, but I just hit them with my BRX braid spray. Took out my dimming brush, brush through, as you can brush this hair. And that seemed to revitalize the curls. My only complaint with the old crochet hair is that um, these older formulas uh, don't look as natural as the newer formula. So the hair does look a little artificial Whoever and a little shiny and plastic. Other than that, hey, for eight dollars, I am not complaining. That will do it for Marcita B's stay at home ready, video chat ready, Zoom ready, oh, 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 crochet braid hairstyle. Let me know what you think. What's everybody else doing right now for crochet braids? I might dig down in my stash one more time before I buy some new crochet braid hair. But that will do it for this video, YouTube. I hope everyone is maintaining their sanity, their hope, and staying well. I'm out for now, but you know what I always say before I leave? Be safe, take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.